All right, welcome to Upgrade. I'm your host, Frank the Tank. And today we're gonna upgrade our workbench. You can see it's a little messy. It's right next to my tools. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm planning to put all my 3D printers and my computer underneath and put these boxes on the, on a well secure area. So we're gonna build ourselves today a workbench. And the way we're gonna do, I'm not a professional. I'm doing this as an eye. I'm just running it without no plans or anything like that. But as soon as I finish it, and if it looks good, I'll post them up. And I am gonna upgrade a couple of things on my workbench. And let's go ahead and bring the workbench. I already built the box right now, if you can see it. Now, the most expensive piece was the top. The top, um, I was able to cut it at, um, at actually um, Home Depot. They were able to cut it. It's two feet and it's about six feet uh, um, uh, um two feet across six we um i'm mean, sorry two feet wide six feet long so if you can see it i built the box and i use cheap wood here we're gonna sand it out we're gonna clean it up and then we'll paint it we'll bar we'll you know i'm thinking about it we're gonna upgrade this put some technology in here uh maybe a couple of power supplies here and there um using about the cheapest wood that you can find five bucks a piece about 10 of these suckers so i'm cutting up into three pieces so this i nailed it in but i might just remove the nails and screw it in later on or we're gonna cover it up so we'll be able to see it but it's a workbench it doesn't have to be pretty um i built the box if you can see it uh i didn't film it last night uh, because that's the first thing i did i just wanted to get up and go and i'm thinking about building another one here another actually divider right here so i could actually put more weight on it so in the center if you can see it right now it's not center um it doesn't have to be pretty it's a workbench remember that it's a workbench it's gonna get dirty it's gonna get damaged but we're gonna put wheels on ours and as you can see solid 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 and this is kind of like a one inch thick of solidness man it's 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 really good when i when it's trim the the side lines we're going to trim all the side here of course and um that's on the next video but we're going to continue on on this video and see if you guys can see it so let's go see what i'm doing now next all right we're cutting them to three pieces uh three feet of uh, each each one if you can see it three feet long we're cutting them and each board is about eight feet long so you have enough for one stand one leg this is pretty much what we're going to do uh, four legs right now and then we'll do the stabilizers in the center uh, we're planning to put tires on them little wheels on them so we got to make sure we cover that part too so we're going to go ahead and continue on and see what you guys think about it so that's it <laughs> If you guys want to build your own and right now in quarantine everybody's doing something like this so it's not a bad idea to make your own self um your own tools your own workbench your own tables your own desk and i also build my own computer desk so uh i captured some of it so maybe i'll put some in here if you guys want to more know more about it let me know hit me up and let me know so we're, let's go ahead and continue all right guys for the side lines for the side holes um you want to do preset holes first uh it's good to buy some like this uh they sell for different brands of course um we're gonna use a 12 which i wanted but the great thing about this is an allen wrench right here that you can actually extend the deeper holes all right now the only reason i like these a lot is because it kind of does a little um indentation on the wood so it could be really smooth even if you put any long screws or anything like that so i like this a lot and we are going to put some long screws in there so it could stabilize the whole thing um the hardest um the largest two um screws are going to go on the top holding the whole table it's of course but um these are pretty awesome if you guys need need to see them and i like them so we're going to be using them here so you guys can take a look at take a look at them all right so this is what i'm talking about see how long it's not long enough here so there is an allen wrench here that you do use and it's a little tiny little allen wrench you loosen it up and then you could take this out as long as you want so we're gonna preset it pretty long if you guys could see it so i can make sure the indentations are perfect you tie it up and now um, once in a while go back and tie it up yourself because um it does need it once in a while so um i am going to use my um my Raubi tool set to actually straight um drill, drill some holes here and this is really unique this is really good um for presetting holes and um setting it up in case you don't have a, a nice good um 
handle the stuff you know it's always good to set these up so recommend it get yourself a nice little set of this all right now the way we're going to do holes in between we're going to start in the top one here we're going to do one in between we'll probably put four screws overall on one side and if it's not stable enough we're going to add more so the way i do it uh you can measure with one of these and know that you cannot get out of the line because that's how the thickness of the wood is going to be so you really can't mess up on this one uh just go down the line and make your uh, make your holes so let's go ahead and do that So you can see it it does the pre-holes plus the screws go all the way through and they get flush in here this is what i like about this um i'm using my impact tool usually i don't use it but that's the only one i have charged right now so i'm doing that and it's making a nice little hole groove in there so it could be nice and even um the reason i did that is because i don't want the screws to be caught on so you could even use nails see it through here and then but you're gonna have to tip them in with something hit them hammer them in with some sort of indentation so it will balance it out all right we're gonna use an extension if you can see it put the extension in there and we're set put it on the impact um and that's it i'm gonna pre pre-drill them just pre-drill them We're gonna do one first, one side first. I like to start with one side so we could move it out, but make sure it's nice and even on both ends. But one, and then we could sand it out so even it out. And we're gonna don't worry about if it's a little bit off. Not too concerned about that. And it's nice and flush. See how it's crooked a little bit, but it's fine. We're gonna turn it around this way. And the other side the other side we're gonna have to put some pressure in there right put some pressure in here okay that's it screwed in keep continuing with the rest on now nice and flush so I bought these wheels and um, they have the little locks, but it's important. The only reason I bought them is because I could actually add some washers and elevate this um, to balance the whole thing, make sure it's nice and balanced too. So not just a plain old simple wheel, but I um, actually have the option to, to set it up. We're gonna drill a hole in here in the center. And then we got these washers. Let me show you guys. We got these. We got these here. We're gonna drill them in here. A nice little hole in there. If you guys can see it right in the center. And then we're gonna put this. We're gonna put this. This one goes into the washer. You guys can you see it? So the, it's gonna go through all the way through. So and then I could lock it in on the other end, but that's the only reason I'm doing this. Okay, perfect. I'm gonna hammer it in. Hammer it in. Uh, I know I look cut outs, but I don't care about the bottom. It's gonna load up with a lot of stuff if you can see it. And now um, I'm also cutting here. I'm measuring it so I can start doing the cutouts, of course. 
and this is very important this is um, the most important part to cutting out all right as you can see i have the wood here in the bottom all right guys i'm finally done with my workbench it's not the best of the best but it's my workbench it's a little tall i made it a little tall for me all right so we're gonna put two layers if you can see i already started um putting some of my stuff in the bottom we're gonna put a server right here actually it's gonna go in here the actual server is gonna go in this part right here make it a little high enough um the, another section in here and been midways um and then we're also gonna put this in here too so this has a power for the bottom of course and it's gonna go on top right here we're gonna do a very really the uh the actual measurements we're gonna cut it down and if you can see uh, it's two ways so it's gonna be popping up in the front it's not gonna be um, flush with this whole system but it's gonna be there enough for it to hold on to this um it's really good i was deciding between these two but i need more power in my workbench to charge out things and stuff like that so we got the back and forward and then these are made for servers all right guys so you can find these in in amazon and everywhere you go Mm, this corner. 